Okay, so second time lucky. Um, I've just done about an hour and a half's recording and the compiler at the end of the video didn't work. Uh, so I lost the whole video, so I'm going to start again and do it in pieces. So uh, this is my first or second time round. Um, looking at converting maps um, that have been extracted from uh, PK3 files, so it could be Quake 3 or Urban Terror. Um, and making them in a format usable in Blender, so you can edit, modify, um, and create them before going into Unreal Engine, where they can be developed for future games. So, here we go. Hopefully it's recording this time. First thing you need are uh, so map files. So you need source files that you can use. Um, you need the owner's permission. Um, so either use maps of your own, um, that you may have lost the original source files to um, or ones that you have permission from people to take apart and reuse um, so for example there are some maps you can get from the Urban Terror website um, usually when you extract the files as I'll show you shortly there'll be um, a text file inside which will give you the usage allowances so some people say yes you can use this file for anything you want other people say please don't use them so um, there were some old instructions on converting maps um, using Radiant um, and exporting them out as object files and then bringing them into Blender. Um, there are newer ways to do that directly and very quick ways, so I won't go through that. Um, that can be found just by Googling if you're interested uh, converting Urban Terra maps to UE4 on Google and that will bring up this as one of the results. Um, the newer way, which I find more efficient, and is also on the Urban Terra forums, which comes up as one of the hits in Google as well. Um, and this goes through using um, a command line script to convert files. So there's some instructions there, links to download it. Um, that actually comes, and I'll put the link in the video from where I found it elsewhere on the internet. Um, was the author um, and he just gives the instructions on usage but we'll go into that shortly and the criteria the things that you need to make it work um, we'll also need for converting the format so if we're going into FBX file um, the conversion outputs an ASCII format FBX um, Blender requires a, a binary format so there's a program called Noesis um, which we'll use to convert that. Again, I'll put a link to this in the video. So first things first, we've got, with the kind of permission of Mr. Johnny English, um, ES Arcade, which is a, a map I'm going to be practicing with and learning to convert. First thing we need to do is get the PK3 and rename it into a zip so we can extract the contents. Yes, we do want to do that. Um, what I'm going to do with this is place it in my Urban Terra directory in a folder called BaseQ3 um, rather than getting it mixed up with the UC4 stuff I've got in there. Um, so we'll open that, extract tool, so this is all the contents of the map, texture files, sound files and so on. Uh, we'll just stick that on the desktop for now. Wish as we go through there. Um, Get rid of the zip file, and then what we're going to do is grab all of that and just move it into there because we don't need the originals anymore. There we go, so we've got them. So now for the conversion, um, we've got the Quake 3 converter file, and we've got the switches we need to use to put into the command line to make that work. So that's the file we're going to be running. I've put the full path in there so it can find it. The game path, which is urban C urban terror. We're using the base Q3 directory. And then we're going to be outputting to the converted directory. So I've just created that again, keeps things separate. And the file we're going to be using is in underneath the base Q3, it's BAPS ESRK.bsp and we're going to minus so we're not going to have the sky. We're going to get rid of the sky box. So we'll copy that. We're going to run 
command prompt paste that in there hit the button and there we go job done nice quick and easy so we'll get rid of that so we've now gone from the original BSP map file uh, into converted so it's brought the textures out and there excellent and in the maps we've now got um, the FBX file so that could be imported directly into Unreal Engine 4 um, and then exported from there back to Blender um, but in this case because we're people might not necessarily be using Unreal Engine we're going to convert that into use for Blender so the program is going to be Noesis um, I've also stored so within there there's some advanced settings you can set um, so I've just kept this file to make it easier for myself um, the map originally when it comes out it's facing it's standing on end so we're going to rotate it on the X we're going to scale it by 1.29 it's actually 1.28 something or other, but 1.29 works good to bring the scale up from the uh, Quake 3 format scale to standard units. Um, i telling you it's a Quake map and, map and just some other bits and pieces there. We'll talk about those in a minute. Don't need to worry about them too much. So we'll copy that, fire up the software. Um, so we can see there it's actually bought in file so we're just going to where the file is and if we just open that it will give us a very nice preview so we can just make sure the file is exported correctly and there we have it so that is the exported textured map so what we're going to do is we're going to export that again um, into a format that Blender can understand so under advanced commands you've got all these different instructions depending on the type of map, map you're coming for file you're coming from and going to so they've got ones in there for Quake 2, Quake 1, Duke Nukem I've been through all of those and picked out the instructions I want which is what I'm just showing you so we'll grab that hit export It'll go off doing its thing hopefully in a minute we'll have something we can then take into blender export complete there we go i we'll jump back a level and forwards again there's the output file so we can leave that close that get rid of all of these there we go there's the exported file there and pop into blender so file import fbx we're going to go to um, if I remember where it is c urban terror converted maps the out file because that's the converted one we've just made uh, see I need here so we've got normals property strings and orientation, we don't need to change any of that, there's nothing to do with that, nothing to do with that and here we go so that'll do this little magic and hopefully, there we go we have the file in pin great uh, so I've got my don't want any of that selected Grammar reference character, so that's the you can see everything's come in there. There's a mesh ready to work on. We can see it's got all its sides. Grab the reference character, bring it forward. Let's zoom in on that. Meet through the floor into the doorway. There we go. So you can see the scale of the door. So that character is 1.8 meters, and that doorway is about two me, two meters. You can see that kind of fits with all of the machinery inside. Where are we? There we go. 
lost me arrow there it is so compared to the arcade machine the scale looks about right that's it job done um, from here uh, the next step would be to grab various components so just in case my video is running out I won't take talk too much um, but uh, Frankie V's put some useful videos from this point on converting maps create a new collection didn't want that there you can then split everything up into usable groups to make them easy to find so you might select all of your containers just as a quick there we go and then move them um, move to collection stick them in collection one so we can name that containers And from there you can turn parts of the map um, on and off just to make things easier to work on so there you go that's uh, about it you put walls in one area doors might go in another collection uh, you might put general objects in another collection windows um, that's it <clears throat> one editable editable mesh you know, your vertexes and, and watch me bobs okay thanks guys um, that's me job done don't save that let's exit from there <clears throat>